Well, I'm back at the range sighting in some new varmint ammo. Usually I'd be sighting in something from Druid Hill Armory, but I've run out of their varmint ammo, so I'm going to be sighting in some Federal Spear TNT 90 grain ammunition. We're going to go ahead and zoom in. That I chronographed at 2930 feet per second. Nice! Well, it looks like I'm on target. The explosion that you saw was from a Firebird 50 biodegradable target. It's a detonating target. These are really cool. I picked the small ones so that I could check zero. All right, this is where I'm going to be hunting for the night. I'm going to be up on the dam. I'm going to be shooting towards a beaver that will eventually come out way over here on this little landing. This is an absolutely beautiful property. I like coming out here. I came out here several times last year to deal with beaver, and the beaver have returned. Now, I spent most of the evening watching raccoons as they made their way around the tank. And here I'm getting video of this one with my Fusion Thermal Avenger 40 thermal weapon sight. So I stayed out well past sundown. Usually the beavers show up right around sundown. And uh, all I was seeing were, were these raccoons. Now when they're swimming in the water, they can be hard to identify. And raccoons will have a head visible. You can usually see their body and you can see their bum as well as they swim across the water. Whereas with beaver, beaver usually only see the head above the water. As you can see in this clip from last year on the same property, that's what a beaver looks like swimming through the water. Another possibility when seeing swimming animals in this area is that you may have a river otter. I've got a link at the end of the video. River otters tend to swim with their heads a little bit higher up. They tend to be more rounded and pointy, and they also show their tails quite often. Carpet caster. After two hours, no beaver had shown up, so I loaded up the truck, I loaded the rifle, did a final scan, and by golly, there's a beaver out there on the bank. So I had to reload my rifle, get set up again. You can hear the truck running in the background. The beaver has got what it wants. Makes a break for the water, but I drop him in place. And I don't see any other signs of beaver. So let's go check it out. These little plants are why the beaver was up on the bank. And now I'd like a little help from those of y'all who are more knowledgeable than I am. What is this white stuff inside the beaver's eye? It's in the corner of both of the eyes. I actually touched it with my glove and was able to smear it outside of the eye that you can see here. It is a fluid of some sort. I assume it has something to do with protecting the eye while it's in the water, but I haven't been able to find anything about it online. If you happen to know what it is, please tell me in the comments below. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. Sweet. This beaver came in at 39.6 pounds, which is a good-sized beaver for North Texas. Now, beavers are monomorphs, which means that they don't have any external sexual characteristics in order to be able to distinguish males from females, so I don't know if this is a male or female. Taking a look at shot placement, the bullet impacted slightly behind the point of aim. That was because the beaver was on the move. The bullet crossed laterally to the other side. It was a slightly quartering away shot and I was able to recover the 90 grain spear TNT bullet which was down to 38.8 grains which is about the largest that I found. But as with other TNT bullets it was flattened quite nicely. Carpe sus, my friends.